DeAndre, what is it like to have a night like that when you're in the backfield as much as you were? Uh, it definitely was great. You know, I felt great out there, but I couldn't have done it without my teammates. So uh, hats off to the front seven. They allowed me to play great, and I'm just thankful. DeAndre, after the game, Jeremy said that uh, you had grown up a lot as a person. You had moved back into the dorm. What, what kind of went into that decision? And I guess, does that make you one of the senior citizens of the dorm? <laughs> well, yeah, that was a move I made over the summer. Well, I'm out now, but for the summer, you know, I just wanted to focus on my body focus on uh, understanding the scheme more. So moving back to the dorms, it kind of settled me in. It got me back grounded and I'm thankful it, it helped out in a big way. You voted Teresa Walker followed by Eric King. DeAndre, what's the confidence level with this team right now? You, you had the winning streak to finish last season. Now you go into Columbia, get a win on the road. Um, what's the confidence like right now? And, and how is it now you're coming into uh, Saturday's game wanting to try and build on that? Well, one of the biggest things we focused on this all season was just coming together as a unit. So I'm definitely, guys are just buying into the program, buying into what Coach Pruitt is saying every day. And uh, it, it's just coming to light. You know, these guys are working hard, busting their tails off, and we just want to win. So it's coming to light. Eric? Hey, DeAndre, I uh, had, had a great game on Saturday, but also when watching the film again, like Kevon Bennett had a really, really strong game as well and kind of helped you out a lot making some of those plays. So I'm curious to know what your reaction was to, to Kevon's uh, to play on Saturday. Uh, what was the question again? What was your reaction to uh, Kevon Bennett and how he played on Saturday? Oh, Kevon is a guy that, that comes in every day, buzzes his tail. I mean, without him, I wouldn't have nearly as much uh, production as I did. So he's a guy that wrecks havoc on the other side. So we're kind of, you know, building a little duo here. Uh, here We got some young guys that's uh, stepped up in the back end. So we're just trying to become a force in this uh, conference. We'll go to Brent Hobbs and then Matt Gray. DeAndre, how different is this uh, offense that you're going to play this week compared to, to last week? And what are the challenges that Missouri presents for you off the edge compared to maybe what South Carolina did or didn't do in the week one? Um, last week was kind of a downhill attacking, uh, rushing. This week, kind of more zone, a lot of uh, quarterback reads. So it's just got to be disciplined off the edge. Make sure you, we're, we're looking at the right things as a defense and uh, just running to the ball. We got to run to the ball uh, a little better this week. Oh man, those guys have just come in and done everything uh, the coaches and their teammates have, have asked from them. Um, they're des de they, are, they have definitely uh, pushed us as a unit. Uh, we're just coming together and those guys have been working hard. So I'm glad to see that they're uh, doing good. Mike Wilson followed by Gustavo. Yeah, DeAndre, about the, the moving into the dorm thing, why do you think that, that helped you you said because your mind and focus. Why do you think that was a decision that helped you? And then how have you carried that over into living back off campus now? Uh, well, the biggest thing was I didn't have to pay rent. <laughs> so that was a big, a big lift off, the, off my shoulders. Uh, I was just able to focus on myself and just kind of dial in and just settle down. You know, I had a lot of things going on around me. So it just helped me settle down. How, how have you, you carried that over to, to being back off campus? Oh man, like I said, I'm just more focused now. Um, now that I'm back off, uh, I kind of use some of the things that I, I wore in the summer. They're helping me now, and uh, I'm just I'm just even kill right now. Just focusing on, on the things that I, I need to be focused on. Thank you. Stop it. Yeah, how often you felt when you knew they you were the FTC defensive lineman of the week? How you know? Like, feel like, do you feel like this can show how much you work as a day off in this offseason? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, I feel great, but I know that there's many more to go, many more games to go, uh, many more tougher opponents to face. So uh, it's something that, you know, I'm glad I got it, but I'm, I want more, man. This group wants more, and this team wants more wins. So. All right, we'll go to Vince and then Blake. Got to two things. One, uh, Henry Toto was talking about some of the skills that you bring to the table, your first step, your hands, things like that. Can you talk about the specific 
areas of your game that you had off-season focus on to try to improve? And then the second thing is any of the coaches reminded you or kind of mentioned to you, hey, don't let this get to your head now that you're the SEC defensive lineman of the week to keep you motivated? Uh, to answer your first question, yeah, in the summer, uh, to be an elite pass rusher, the first thing you have to have is ball get off. So getting off that pill, that was uh, one of the things I focused on this offseason. And just watching film and noticing some of the offensive linemen sets, just uh, being, being better and reading that. And uh, to answer the second one, uh, yeah, it's, it's been coaches reminding me, but I'm, I'm on myself, man. I reminded myself that I can't get big headed and uh, I'm just focused. If I heard you correctly earlier, I think you said you were, uh, one of the things you were focused on this offseason was getting a better handle on the scheme. Um, where do you feel like you maybe understand it better? You know, are there some areas that you feel like uh, you've got a really good handle on now that maybe you didn't before? Well, one of the biggest things uh, I had to focus on was understanding why we, we call certain plays, you know, why we're trying to, uh, what we're trying to give the offense and uh, like what, what scheme we're trying to uh, accomplish with that play call. So just, just figuring that out, and uh, it's, it's helped me big time. When, when do you think that uh, maybe that clicked for you? When, when do you think you, you got that figured out? Uh, about the second week of fall camp, I started to get in the groove. And from there on out, I, I haven't looked back. We'll go to Dan Harrelson and then Rick Russo. DeAndre uh, kind of keeping on the uh, scheme topic, uh, another year in the system. Just talk about you and everybody in the defensive unit playing together. As Coach Pruitt says, that the more you do something, uh, the more it comes natural to you and, and everybody else in the unit. Just kind of talk about how it's coming natural to you and some others on the defense. Uh, yeah, you just see guys playing way faster now. Everybody understands why they're doing what they're doing. And when you look to the left and you look to the right, you just know that guy's going to get his job done. So that just makes the, uh, it makes it easy on yourself. So everybody just playing fast. Everybody is playing smarter. And we just want to keep being aggressive. Hey, DeAndre, yesterday Coach Pruitt uh, talked about how you didn't miss any time. You know, during the preseason, there were certainly guys that were in and then out or back out or back in again. Talk about how important that was for you and your development. And, and are the other guys starting to catch up now and everybody coming together? Kind of showed this, this past week that the defense is not as far off as, as you guys, you know, would like it to be. Oh, yeah, I'm very thankful. Uh, I just had to focus on keeping my body right, you know, staying socially distanced. <laughs> and staying out of harm's way of that, of that virus. But um, now that everybody's, we're getting everybody back, we're getting back to full strength, uh, this team could be dangerous. This defense could be dangerous. So we're looking forward to it. Go to Killian and then Trey Wallace. Hey, DeAndre. Um, home opener this Saturday. Game day traditions are going to look a lot different this year without the ball walk or running through the team. But um, so what is that going to be like for you without those game day traditions? Um, it's, it's definitely going to be different for us, but I just want to thank the fans. You know, they've been sticking with us uh, through all this uh, themselves, so we're just kind of happy to get back in front of our fans and, and just get, get, back, get ready to play football in Neyland, So. Yeah, quick follow-up to that. How excited are you to play in front of the fans, even with limited capacity in Neyland? Oh, I'm, so, I'm so excited, man. It's been a long time coming. Uh, those people have been just working as hard as us, you know, to uh, make sure that they're staying safe. So. I can't wait. Ready to put on a show. Thanks, DeAndre. DeAndre, uh, what has been the biggest thing when you first came into the game years ago against Alabama after Congo has tore tore his ACL? What's been the biggest thing since then compared to where you are right now uh, that you maybe have matured or grown at Tennessee? Uh, The first thing is just start with my body. I'm about... 15 to 20 pounds heavier since I was then. So I'm playing stronger and uh, mentally, you know, I know everything I'm supposed to be doing now and uh, I'm just uh, comfortable with the scheme. So that's helped a lot. All right, we'll, go, we'll finish with David Oven and then last question with Matthew Ray. Uh, DeAndre, what have been your impressions of the, uh, the, the young outside linebackers? What are their strengths and then where do they need to improve? Uh, they, they've been, the, the biggest thing is the uh, work ethic. 
those guys have just come in, they ask questions every day, and you see it in their eyes when they're trying to get better. So I'm just uh, excited with that. And uh, I would say as a, as a group, we got to get better with just uh, reading stances, staying low in our stances, uh, reading blocks. So I say as a group, we have to get better. I wouldn't just point anyone out. Was there anything over the course of those few years that you spent with him that you were able to learn and to apply to your game now? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Just learning how to get off the ball for sure. Uh, that guy there, his, his get off was amazing. And just learning how to use my hands, playing smart, you know, just kind of sitting down and just learning the game from him uh, was very helpful. So. Thanks, DeAndre. We appreciate it. Appreciate you guys.